Busy here. In my previous tutorial, I gave you three tricks to editing faster and better on a light motion. And the third trick was lutes, but I didn't give full details on it. So in this tutorial, I will be giving a full in-depth tutorial on lutes. I will also be giving five free lutes to my channel members. So if you want that and other amazing perks, consider joining my membership. Now, let's begin. When making or using LUTs on a light motion, the only effects you're going to need is LUT Stealer. Let's start with the making of LUTs. In order to make LUTs, all you need to do is add the LUT Stealer effect to any layer and enable it. After enabling it, it's going to show the default LUT. Then you export as PNG to save your LUT. Now for the important part, how to save your CC. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is add your CC or color correction on the default LUT you saved earlier, the re-export as PNG. Note that the CC can be added to the default LUT on any software of your choice, be it After Effects, Node Video, Premiere Pro, or any other software. But when adding your CC, make sure the LUT is not deformed in any way, either with turbulence or blurs or a sharpen effect, because this will ruin the LUTs. Now that you're done making your loot, it's time to use it. In order to use the LUTs you have made, import it above your clip on a light motion. Add the LUT Stealer effect and enable it. Then you go to Blending Mode and change it to Darken. This should blend your LUT perfectly. Note that for different formats. All you have to do is tap on ULUT, then this icon and select Stretch to Fit Composition, and that should be all. I will be leaving the link to my loot pack and editing pack in the description. Check those out if you want, if you made it this far, thanks a lot, and if this tutorial helped, consider subscribing. Also, check out these other tutorials.